Hey everybody, it's Tim with Broken Dice, bringing you a little quick little channel update. Get right to it. One more unit of uh, English Civil War Cavalry. Um, went with um, a lot of browns and blacks on the horses. Um, found out uh, my favorite go-to color for the uh, buff coat is this Vallejo Dark Flesh. Bring it over here. Roll it that way. Yeah. Um, a couple of white light coats of that. Kind of thin it out a little bit and put those on there. And uh, buff coat comes up, comes just uh, has a really nice color to it. Uh, the second thing I wanted to do with this, this particular unit was I wanted the ground to look a little churned up. Uh, I didn't want it to look like a flat piece of, you know, perfect manicured lawn that they're charging over so what i did was i added again here we go the um, vallejo earth shade um, earth texture uh, onto the bases but when i got it on there it, it looked a little too light brown um, so I wanted to darken that up a little bit and I tried a different colors of browns that I had and I didn't have the right one. So I ordered from Vallejo one of their paint sets that has nothing but like shades of brown in it. And in there I had this color is called wood grain. Yeah, there we go. And it really did a good job. Now I don't know how this is going to come out on the, on the camera part. I take this model off and I flip him over. Come on, focus in for me. You did it earlier. There we go. You can see that different. It it's a lot darker. And it looks awfully light on the on the camera, but it's much darker than that. And that's what I was going for. That churned up earth instead of a of the manicured lawn look. Um, Took me a while to get them done, but I had an enjoyable time doing them once I got into how how I was going to do them. And like I said, this is the first time I've painted this time period. And sometimes it takes me, well, I don't know, just me, it takes me a while to get into uh, oh, the right sort of rhythm with it. I, I, I It's hard for me to explain and to, I have to visually see it in my head. And sometimes it takes me a couple of units or two to, to really kind of see it. I've, and I've always painted that way. It's just like, sometimes it's like a monkey with a crayon when I first start out. With, with If I'm doing something new and I just, I, it takes a while. But one thing I really wanted to point out, what I want to do on my next unit, when I get to another cavalry unit, I'm going to make a big placard when I put, when I start. And I'm going to put this on my, on my painting desk. The last unit I did, if you look at their... Um, saddle blankets. On the last unit I did, I I kept saying, boy, that looks awfully plain. I should do something with it. Well, I get through this whole entire project. I get excited about getting close to being done, and I forgot all about it. I wanted to put some sort of trim color on these saddle blankets. And I didn't. And I think I'm, I'm just going to make a a big sign and put it right above my desk that says, Hey idiot, trim the saddle blankets. But that being said, um, got them magnetized. They're all ready to roll just in case, you know, I change up systems and it's model removal. I've said that before. Um, so next, next up is a, some form of infantry. I'm either going to do like a, um, um, a commanded shot unit, or maybe just another uh, regiment of pike and shot. I think pike and shot is the way I'm going to go with this. But that's that's uh, where I'm at. Uh, one other thing I want to note uh, in this is that I have discovered, and I've known this about me for a while, that I do like the units dark, and I and I've I've really like a heavy wash on my on my models and I don't know okay, because you can tell on some of them they're a little little bit darker than others especially like on some of the white um, 
uh, socks. It's very pronounced there from the wash. I should I should probably clean that up a little bit, especially on this tail right here is a little dark. But that's the you know when I'm when I'm doing a unit, I really like them to be dark. Uh, like that dirty, grungy, and you know if you've ever been in the military, been out in the field, you know it doesn't take long to start looking pretty ratty when you're far away from things. So that's that project. And next up, I think I'm going to start working on some terrain pieces for different games that I play. Just some scatter per, scatter pieces and, and that sort of thing. Let's turn this camera around. All right. Yeah, there we go. Get my thumb out of luck. Get that all done. Uh, next year, oh yeah. yeah, I did get this. This is the first time I worked with this. I got a piece of big foam board. Really thick. Woof. It's like over a half inch thick. Almost three quarters of an inch thick. And it's going to have some, probably some large pieces of terrain on it as well. And might cut it down and into some scatter pieces. But, uh, that's, that's where my projects are heading. Um, I've got one other thing I'm working on. It has nothing to do with historical. But I, f I find that, you know, a lot of times I got a little extra paint in my in my wet palette. So I got these guys out. And since they're a lot of cavalry, I've been working on a lot of cavalry. I told myself, I said, well, they're just painted gray sitting on the shelf. If you've got some extra, just bring one of those guys out and just start painting on them. And that's what I'm into, and that that that's kind of a, a side project. It'll take a take a long time to get those guys done, but since we really don't use them, it's no big deal. But they're kind of fun to paint, and uh, someday they'll look really good when I get them done. But I'm in no big hurry. So that's the end of this. Uh, what was supposed to be a short channel update turned into a ramble a little bit. But I hope everybody else's projects are going really well. Mine are going well. If I can just keep regular life from interrupting my flow, um, I could get really into this project. Next thing's up. Assembly, assembly, assembly. And we all know how much we love that. You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next time.